We're Trent and Allie, and today we're answering your burning questions. Are we going to have a traditional nursery? Was it love at first sight? A little bit more about Brandon. Baby names we really like. There are some plot twists and turns. Where's my dad? Have either of you ever been married before? And definitely some weird baby names. I never heard of it. Yeah, see, it's unique. Oh, it's I'm from I'm the future. <laughs> so come along and enjoy as we open up about family, the future. I think we're going to need a new van. And the fun and exciting months ahead. Hi, babe. Hello, my beautiful wife. How are you? <sighs> I just was having a little bit of a dip in blood sugar, so I think I went a little overboard. Got some pirate booty. Pirate booty? <laughs> wow. And a nice green smoothie, slushy. Almost looks like ice cream. Matcha, it's probably not that healthy, but it's a matcha green tea blast, so it sounds healthy. And uh, green tea is good for you. So is matcha. <sighs> What's up and welcome back. Today we are actually going to be doing a completely different style of video. The, today's video is going to be a Q and A. We asked in the end of our previous video, anybody that wanted to have their question answered to jump over to our Instagram and leave a comment on the most recent photo. You almost said YouTube. I almost said YouTube. And there are already almost 1200 comments of questions. That's crazy. Yeah. We're gonna get started with the questions. What's the first one on the list? Can we just jump into the ones that I wanna answer? We can do whatever you want, you're the mom. People, oh! <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people wanna know about us and our relationship. Okay. So my question to you is, was it love at first sight? It was love at first sight. <laughs> I do have to say, like, I, it, it was love at first date. We'll put it that way. When I first saw Allie, uh, I've talked about this before, but I thought, wow, she probably spent all day curling her hair. Look <laughs> at how beautiful her hair is. And little did I know, she probably did spend a long time on it, but she didn't spend any time curling it because no. it grows out of her head like that. So we met on Bumble, which is an online dating app, and I guess they do tend to work sometimes. You can find the right person there. And we were both living in Utah, working in Utah. Even though I'm from Washington, D.C., I had traveled and lived around the country, and Trent had also traveled and lived around the country, really. Went for dinner at sushi, and that's our anniversary. Well, was it love at first sight? I mean... It was definitely love at first date. Yeah. I had a really good time that Love night. at first sight doesn't exist, okay? <laughs> That's lust. Lust at first sight, love at first date, okay? So. We were both a little bit older, a little bit more uh, wise. Mature. Mature. Mature in what we were looking for. I think both of us had been a little bit jaded about the world and relationships in the past. So we were coming at it with skeptical eyes and both of us were very pleasantly surprised by the end of the evening. Great answer. <laughs> Patty Sue wants to know what breed is Frank and a little bit of backstory about where we got him and where he came from. Ah, uh, the old Frank story, huh? <laughs> so Frank was actually found on a farm in Richfield, Utah, which is like kind of south central Utah. And his dad was a cattle herding blue healer, and that's what Frank is. His mom was a red healer, so they're called Queensland's healer. They're called stumpy tailed cattle dogs, Australian cattle dogs. There's like 10 different names, but basically Frank is a blue healer and we got him from a farm in central Utah. All right, so Chrissy843 wants to know, are we gonna have a traditional nursery? Of course not. You guys, have you seen our house? Also, what is a nursery? Isn't it, it's just a baby's bedroom. Yeah, it's called a nursery. If there's a crib in it, it's not a bedroom, it's a nursery. As far as uh, the baby having a bedroom? Yes, eventually. At the beginning, absolutely not. We're gonna have either a bassinet or like a small crib in our bedroom with us with maybe just a small dresser, changing table thing in the bedroom and the baby will sleep in the room with us for at least the first six or eight months. And then eventually the basement will have bedrooms, but we're not gonna finish that for 
probably another year. So baby's eventually, it's gonna be in the basement. The baby's That's room right. will be in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep my status quo up here. Won't let anybody come near. I'll fix it on my own. Twenty-nine years I've been the same. Trying so hard to run from shame. There's been a ton of questions about the build in general, about our house and how it's going, and especially now that we have a very strict deadline of when we need to finish the house, people are wondering, are we gonna get more help? No. <laughs> We're not gonna get any more help because I wanna finish this house just the way we started it, which is just myself, Brandon, and Allie. Allie's gonna help less and less as time goes on because <laughs> she's gonna be growing a human being in her belly. But no, we are not gonna be hiring any other full-time workers um, unless we absolutely have to, which I don't see that happening. Are we gonna at least get help with taping and mudding the drywall? Absolutely not. I bought all the professional equipment. I bought all the nice tools so that we can have a supremely finished drywall done by moi and Brandon. And I'm, uh, I'm really excited to try my hand at it. And I know pretty much every single person has told us not to do it. Great. And uh, we're going against all the odds. We're gonna see what happens. If you're freaked out by the answer to that question, just know I'm right there with you. <laughs> so a lot of people actually have been asking and wanna know a little bit more about Brandon and kind of his backstory. And we explained it a little bit in the video where we introduced Brandon, but basically Brandon and I have been friends since we were about 15 years old. So that's almost 20 years, I know. I'm getting, I'm getting up there in age, but. <laughs> For about 19 years now, I've known Brandon. We've been really good friends. I actually lived together with him with a couple of buddies. We were roommates for about five years. And he used to work at a cabinet shop. And he wasn't happy with his job and we needed help building this house. And so I said, hey, we'll pay you as a full-time employee if you want to quit the cabinet shop and you want to come and work with us while we build this house. And he was like, that sounds like a great idea. So he quit the cabinet shop. Now he's a full-time employee that helps us build this house. And really, he's the real MVP. Yeah. We would not be where we're at without Brandon's help. Yeah. So if you're watching this, thank you very much, Brandon. We love you. And uh, that's Brandon's backstory. Brandon and Trent have a great thing going. They work really well as a team. And as long as we have supplies delivered on time, they work really fast and efficiently together. Unfortunately, I would love to say structure number two will be completed this year, but I'm having uh, major doubts that that will be the case. Structure number two is gonna be a two car garage with 10 foot tall garage doors for vans to fit into. And on top of that will be kind of like a small studio apartment, guest room with a full bathroom, because right now we don't really have any guest room space. So if my parents come to visit, mom and dad. We want them to be comfortable and have a place to stay where they'll have their own little space and some privacy and just maybe like a small fridge, a microwave, and at least a shower. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much as soon as the house is finished and we have certificate of occupancy and we can move in, Terry and Rusty and everything else that's on the concrete pad is getting moved and we're gonna start erecting structure number two. And I hope it's gonna be at least dried in by winter time this next coming year. And if it's not, then uh, we're gonna be working in the snow. So that's basically the next big project after the house is finished. We're going under, there's nothing we can do. You've become me. What's up guys and good morning. It has been probably about a half a day since we picked up the camera, but this morning is one of our days off and we're gonna take you guys behind the scenes. We're still gonna be answering the Q and A's, but we're going golfing and we're gonna try and make it really interesting for you guys. We did get a question that I wanted to answer and somebody said, how much land do you have? We have one million 
acre. No, I'm just kidding. We have 1.23 acres. So like a smidgen under one and a quarter acres. I know a lot of times when people see the drone footage and they see us driving and they don't see a lot of houses, you probably assume we own like this huge mountain and we don't. We, we own a small plot and it's actually a cabin community. Uh, part of that question was also, do you have neighbors? And yes, we have neighbors and some of the neighbors are very close, but they're camouflaged by the trees. So a lot of times you don't know they're there we're gonna go have a fun day and we're gonna get after it and it's actually totally possible because our dogs are incredible frank has always been like the best dog in the world but lika is slowly turning into the best dog in the world she's only five months old she's still a puppy she's got a lot of maturing to do but we've been consistently working with her since we got her at every single one of her meal times to practice skills and training and um it's worked really well. So I guess to answer the question, a lot of people really want to know what our training regimen is and how we're keeping Lika under control. Because when we decided to get Lika, people were like, oh my gosh, a Belgian Malinois? That's crazy. You guys aren't active enough. You guys won't give her enough exercise. She's going to be insane. And I mean, I will agree. She's like kind of insane, but she's not too bad. And really, as far as obedience goes, she's very food motivated. So especially when we first got her, we never fed her without having a training session with the food. And that got her to pay attention to us and to listen to us. Also, Frank kind of shows her the ropes. So another question that we've actually been getting a lot of is what are we going to do with our van and or are we going to build a new van because we need to make room for baby? And I guess the short answer for that question is, yeah, I think we're going to need a new van. The main reason is Pamela Vanderson is perfect just the way she is, especially for two people that want to do adventuring, that want to live in the van full time. We designed that van in what I think is the perfect layout for that. and. We don't want to remodel it. We don't want to tear Pamela apart and rebuild her because like she's awesome in her own glory. But we would need a place for like a car seat and we would need a place for the baby to sleep. So like I said, long story short, we're probably going to build a new van. Because van life is not over. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> Your watch broken? No way. Cause I'm so early. I've never seen you here this early. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> it's cause of Cliff. I know it is. <laughs> All right, so we are out here at Soldier Hollow Golf Course in Midway, Utah, way up in the mountains. It's actually super beautiful. The temperature's perfect today. And we're out here with Brandon. You guys know Brandon, obviously. Up, and guys? our buddy Cliff. And we're playing around to golf. And uh, not only is Brandon an excellent worker, and he is uh, there every day that we're working, we also spend the weekends with him golfing as well. A lot of people want to know, Brandon, <laughs> what do you think of working with us? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's not really work. It's more like hanging out, getting stuff done. It's, it's awesome. We love working with Brandon too. You satisfied with your first shot of the day? Never satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> close but I didn't quite make it and another question that we've been getting from a lot of people is where's my dad why isn't he in the picture and I don't really know the answer to that question um, I've never met my dad I don't know who he is and I don't really know why he's in the pic why he's not in the picture but I guess that answers that question there it is. In. Oh! oh 
All right, Allie, so another question that a lot of people are burning to know is when the house is done, yes. are we gonna continue to travel? I sure hope so. We originally built this house as kind of like our home base with the intention of traveling maybe part-time or half the year and being able to come back to the house and leave our stuff there. So yes, I hope and I think we will continue to travel. It'll just look a little bit different. Do you guys really think we would ever stop traveling? Come on. Nothing quite like being dead last, huh? Bad day on the golf course is better than a good day at work. That's what they always say anyways. <laughs> that was a really fun round of golf. I uh, have never played here before, so it was my first time. It was all of our first times, I think, except for Cliff. And everybody really enjoyed it. Allie actually doesn't like playing 18 holes as much as everybody else does. So usually about half or three quarters of the way through, she becomes a professional caddy. And she just kind of rolls around and eats snacks and helps me decide on what club to use. And I'm not gonna blame her for me shooting 99 because that's not my best score, we'll put it that way. I'm gonna take on all the blame. But uh, couldn't ask for a more beautiful day. Golf is great and um, it's not honestly my favorite sport, but it's something that I do certainly enjoy. And 18 holes just takes it out of me and I know that about myself. So I try to pace myself because we have a lot of other stuff planned for the day. And around, you know, the 13th ish hole, normally I'm just like, you know, I'm done. <laughs> and this brings up a very valid question that a lot of you are wondering is, do we fight? And how do we resolve conflicts in our relationship and in our day-to-day -day lives, especially since we work so closely together? Trent is also my business partner. He's my everything. He's my best friend, he's my life partner, and he's my business partner. And we try to create very specific roles and boundaries and delegate wherever possible to cater to each other's strengths. So he's a great builder. I pretty much defer to him on a lot of the building decisions. And if there's something that I don't understand or disagree with, I try to listen to him because he normally has a pretty valid reason for why we're doing it a certain way. When there are things that I feel very strongly about, like uh, not wanting to play a whole 18 holes, Trent knows when to pick his battles as well and knows when to just sit back and uh, let me stop playing at the 13th hole if that's what I want to do because it would lead to an unnecessary argument that we both know isn't worth the energy. And I wouldn't even say that we fight. We actually never fight. We maturely disagree and have discussions. And this is the only relationship I've ever been in my, in my life where we could have a mature discussion when we disagree. And that's why Ellie's my wife. <laughs> Woo! That was quite the day today. We did get to kind of like relax and have fun, although playing golf for me is really fun, but it's still kind of like strenuous, especially on like some of your joints and your muscles. And then working on the house has really been like taxing my body heavily. And that's why I'm so thankful for today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Omax. So it doesn't really matter whether you're an athlete, a weekend warrior, or maybe you're just a construction worker like I basically am right now. Not only does the menthol actually have a cooling blast that actually feels really relieving on sore muscles and stiff joints, but there's also broad spectrum CBD. There's 10 different pain relieving ingredients in CryoFreeze from Omax. And I literally live by this stuff. Like whenever I have a pain or an ache or anything like that, I throw some of this on, you get instant relief. It's long lasting. You don't have to take any pills or anything and put them through your digestive system. This stuff is amazing. So if you guys haven't tried Omax's CryoFreeze, I highly recommend it. And right now, if you guys click the link in our description, they're giving you a special deal. You get 20% off CryoFreeze and site-wide. Thanks again to Omax for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna do a couple little things around here and then we're heading to my grandma's house. Allie and I share a lot on this channel. We share the majority of our lives, but there are certain aspects that we've chosen to keep private and there's many reasons for that. The next question that I'm gonna answer is a little bit of a different one. And somebody asked, have either of you ever been married before? And the answer is no, Allie has never been married, but I have been married. 
When I was 19 years old, I actually got a girl pregnant, we decided to get married, and then we ended up getting divorced. Now this does mean I have a 15 year old son. This is probably a shock to most of you. And this is a detail that we've waited to share on this channel for a number of reasons. We've learned firsthand the dangers of putting yourself out there on the internet. And it's a choice that we make fully understanding the consequences and the repercussions and the permanence of those actions. We've always felt very uncomfortable putting my son Joel in a position that could jeopardize his safety or his privacy. And we always wanted to protect him from the risks that come from exposing him to the internet. Now that he's a little bit older, he's been asking us recently about being in the videos. So we've had some discussions with him about the impacts, the repercussions, the risks of exposing yourself online. And since he is a little bit older, we're listening to him and letting him make his own decision on this. So this afternoon, we're actually going to be picking him up and you guys are gonna meet him. Joel is 100% of the reason why Utah will always be our home base, so we can be close to him and spend time with him. And you probably won't see him a ton in future videos, and that's because we still think it's really important to put down the camera and be present and focused and intentional about the time we spend with him. But I know he's really excited to meet you guys, and we're excited to share this part of our life with you. So without further ado, we are going to pack up the dogs, we're heading to my grandparents' house, and then we're going to pick up Joel. Clouds and thunders standing in my way Ooh, I must try to figure it out anyway Songs of worries traveling with the storm I just want you to know I'm very concerned. We all are, and we just, you know, hope Thank for you. the best. Thank you. But I know it drives you crazy. Well, how do you feel? Well, yesterday I felt good. Today I feel good. You know, it'll drive you nuts. Now, how's your mother? Is she going gray-headed over this? <laughs> She's excited to come out and, and spend time with us in July. She'll probably take you back. <laughs> Maybe. And put you in a little golden cage. <laughs> so we're getting a lot of questions about what baby names we really like. And if it's a boy or a girl, what would we name the baby? And we wanted to ask you guys, who is Lula? That's to his Lula, mother. My mother. Your mother? Mother. A beautiful name. Yeah. I never appreciated it when I was a kid, but the older I got, the more I appreciated it. The first time I heard it, I absolutely loved it. And it's a name that we keep coming back to. I've never heard it before, but I think Lula is so pretty. So for boy names, I really like the name Neo. No. And everybody just thinks about Neo from the Matrix, and that's cool too. I think Neo is a really cool name. No. N-E-O. N-E-O. Oh. No. I, I never heard of it. Yeah, yeah. see, it's unique. Oh, it's I, from I, the future. <laughs> N-E-O. Yeah, Neo. It's going to drive that kid crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a cool name. Anyway, maybe not Neo, but maybe like Leo. We also like the name Leo a little bit. I also think Elliot is cool. Some of the names you've picked have been our family. Yeah. And I don't want to hurt your family. So, like Russell, you could call it Russell Elliot. Yeah. But we don't really know what other girl names we really like. We haven't really, we haven't spent a lot of time thinking about names because we don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. Yeah. So, as soon as we find out, then we'll be like, oh, okay, it's yeah. uh, this, and we can start really getting good names. And that actually leads us to another question that a lot of people have been asking is, are we going to find out the gender? And the answer is yes. We've done genetic testing and so we actually, well we don't, but someone knows the gender at like the hospital or the, the testing facility and they're going to give that information to somebody we haven't really orchestrated this yet, but Allie's parents are going to be here in a couple months and we're going to do a gender reveal when they're here and so 
We'll find out then if it's gonna be a boy or a girl. So that answers that question. And we did run in here on my grandparents while they're eating dinner. So we have one last question for them. <laughs> and that is, Grandma. Yes. How do you feel about doing our laundry? I love doing your laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And your little unmentionable, I put in my uh, lingerie bag. Oh, thank you. Well, it saves me from losing my mind when they're all wound around his socks. <laughs> you and I are Quite the adventure we are uh, embarking on with my grandma doing our laundry, but hopefully we'll have a washer and dryer sometime soon, and uh, this won't be a necessity any longer. <laughs> We've imposed on you long enough. You can go ahead and eat. We're gonna take off, and we're gonna go pick up Joel and hang out with him for a little bit. Uh, oh, good. It's good to see I, you. I'm it's in our blood. You cannot keep me from looking for love. Don't wanna hide it. Ain't gonna lie. I'm on the run till the day that I die. All we are is delicate people. Handle me with compassion and care. Yes, we all are delicate people. Whoa. I might be shaky. I might be weak. My words may fail. How is it? You have to say more than good. Very gummy. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward filming in public, yes. <laughs> and Joel has just never been subjected to it, so obviously today he's like, oh, why are we filming this while we're in Coldstone? Because like we said earlier, usually when we hang out with Joel, we're just being present and spending time with my son. We're not filming it. But today he got a little taste. It's the worst. I don't like it. It's the worst. <laughs> you take it back. <laughs> How do you feel about the baby? I'm very excited to have another sibling. All of our viewers are very worried about where the baby is going to sleep yeah. because the house that we're building is so weird and small. But like, you've slept on the floor of the van. Yeah. You've slept on the floor of the trailer. Yeah. You've, uh, you can basically sleep on any couch we ask you to sleep on. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like, yeah. Tool. And you're like a teenager. So baby, I feel like we can just put in a dresser drawer anywhere. Depends on how set up the drawers for a child. <laughs> <laughs> what are your questions for us? Like I know all I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're probably gonna wrap up filming for this evening, or at least for right now. We're gonna go hang out and spend some time with Joel, and we'll see you guys when we get back up to Terry. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day. So we had a lot of fun hanging out with Joel, getting some ice cream, and then we actually went and did a couple things afterwards. But as soon as I start, like, as soon as I see him, pretty much, it triggers these parental instincts where I'm like, hey, you need to cut your hair. Hey, why are your fingernails painted black? Are you wearing rings? What are those <laughs> earrings? And I think it's because, like, as your kids, you see them as, like, a representation of yourself, and he's just, like, basically me when I was 15. At the same time, I realized that he's just gotta be his own person, but uh, it does trigger the parental instincts heavy. I love it. Joel and I get along really well, and it's great when we hang out, we can kind of team up against Trent and just make fun of him a little bit, humble him a little bit, which is super fun for me, and I think Joel enjoys it too. Now that summer is coming up, his schedule is a little bit more open and flexible, so we'll get to see him more throughout the summer. And it's cool. He's excited for the baby and I'm really excited to have his help and have him be really involved as the baby grows up. Drive the same roads every day 
We both get there our own way Thistle and an apple tree How different two souls can be But we both grow from the same sorrow If we both know we'll be together tomorrow I can be jam-packed day we did stop and get some pizza because <laughs> mom has been craving a little pizza and so we're trying this out it's kind of weird i think with the cravings that uh sometimes the things she craves don't turn out being what she's actually craving because she eats yeah. them and she's like i hate this like it's indian so food. weird i love indian food we got it the other day i took two bites and i was like i cannot eat this and we used to eat indian food like at least once a week so repulsive you know, <laughs> I'm missing any. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I will eat any time of day that I've actually been having dreams about is ice cream. <laughs> How weird is that? Like, I ice cream's great, whatever, but like, I crave ice cream. It's so weird. Oh, well, you got ice cream today. Yeah. And now you're getting pizza. That's a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I think this is probably going to wrap it up. And if you guys enjoyed us spilling the beans and the huge plot twist and all of the unknown things that we've explained today, give us a big thumbs up on this video and consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. We're so happy to have Joel in our lives and we're so happy to finally share him with you as well. You can never have too much love in your life and we're excited that he has always been part of our journey, but now he's part of our journey for you guys as well. So thanks again to Omax for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. If we both know we'll be together tomorrow, I can be like a tree in the wind. Same old ribs, but I can bend. Turning to understand and sway together.